Good morning everyone and welcome to another video on Mr. Ong Math Lesson. Today we are going to do some mathematics to calculate the efficacy rate because I have a number of students in my stats class as well as some of my viewers who have asked me what is efficacy rate and how to calculate it. So today we will have a short video on how to actually calculate the efficacy rate. So in a big trial, okay, so in the trial that have 43,660 volunteers, they are placed into two different groups, okay. Half of them or 21,830 volunteers are placed in the placebo group and another half or 21,000 830 volunteers are put in the vaccinated group. What's the difference? The vaccinated group or the experimental group are those who are given the vaccine, while the placebo group is given uh, a kind of harmless substance that uh, to simulate that they are also given a vaccine, but they are given a harmless material, so we shall read that. A placebo group is a number is a harmless substance that does not have any therapeutic value in order to test the efficacy of the vaccine. The use of a placebo group is regarded as the standard practice when testing out the efficacy of the new vaccine or medicine. So there are two equally good groups. So what happened in the test is that after a period of time, in the placebo group, out of the 21,830, 162, the dot represents one person, 162 people from the placebo group got the COVID-19 disease. While on the vaccinated group, there's only eight, if you count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, in those who got the vaccine, only eight of them got the COVID-19 disease. So now, to put all in perspective, we are going to put a table, okay? So again, a summary of the 21,830 in the placebo group, 162 participants contacted COVID-19. So 162 of the placebo group contacted uh, COVID-19 out of the 21,830. If we divide this and this, we get the infection rate. So the risk of getting COVID-19 if you do not have the vaccine is 162 over 21. 830 and it is 0.74%. Similarly, if you had the vaccine, eight of the people got infected, and to calculate the infection rate, we just take eight out of 21,830, and that comes up to 0.04. As you can see, if you take the vaccine, the chances of getting COVID is 0.04%, which is very low. At the same time, if you did not take the vaccine, the chances of getting COVID is also quite low is 0.74. Both this percentage is less than 1%. Okay, now let's go and calculate the efficacy rate. Okay, so the efficacy rate is very simple. Okay, remember placebo is 0.74% while vaccinated people is 0.04. To calculate the efficacy rate, we have to use this formula. Okay, so the formula okay, is this. Okay, I just leave that number there okay uh the risk among the unvaccinated group is 0 0.74 you minus the one with the vaccine is 0 0.04 and you divide with the risk among the vaccinated group is 0 0.74 so use your calculator 0 0.74 minus 0 0.04 is going to be 0 0.7 and 0 0.7 divided by 0 0.74 is going to give you 95 percent that is how the pharmaceutical industry calculated efficacy rate. So hopefully you learned something. Tell your friend that how this is calculated and hopefully you learned something today and everyone have a good day and see you soon everyone. Cheers.